Hey, honey, I see you here, and welcome back to Amnesia. A uh, quick one, though. Today's episode might not be as edited, if at all, because I got homework I need to do still, as well as notes for exam I have this coming week on Thursday. Wednesday is going to be another Grimm's Hollow day, but we're going to do a community stream on Wednesday. I think we're doing Brawlhalla, uh, just because I, I had so much fun last Friday. I was like, yeah, we'll play it again. Um... But starting Thursday, there won't be any content until Sunday night, possibly Monday. Uh, it all depends on what time you get back and what what I have going on at that time. Um, but I do believe that this is the week we're going out of town for my cousin's wedding. And I don't have anything readily available to upload. I don't have anything readily available to stream. I can't do mobile streams because we don't meet that threshold yet. And I am just so sorry for that. Like The weeks just keep going by me so fast and I, I just the both Grimm's and this because well, we had so many issues with DreadX I just kept getting farther and farther behind and it kind of turned into a day of series by accident and I'm so sorry for that that I like I wanted to be ahead for this so I didn't have to worry about having to be day of all the time but that's just kind of how it happened I think our friend's gone hopefully maybe it's always so funny because it's like, I don't, I never want to like, what's, like I never want to explore, like, you know, if they sh if a game shows me where to go, like, ooh, this is a shining light room over here, then I'm always going to go like, oh, okay, well, let me go check out the other areas first, uh, so I can, you know, make sure I don't miss anything, any collectibles or nothing. <laughs> but I guess in this game, that doesn't matter because I am still doing it. Important key is hidden in the guest room. Oh, wait. Well, isn't that this place? Ain't this the guest room? Oh, tinderbox. Not light in the fire. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the guest room. Oh, yeah. Did, did we, we checked all this though? This is the thing. <laughs> He's on top of the bed. Can we jump on the bed? Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. Maybe. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. Mm -hmm. You'll see. Okay. That was odd. Don't remember doing that last time. Ugh, my earbuds are on my computer. It feels weird like against my wrist. Oh, where, where has my little key gone? <laughs> oh, where, where can it be? Oh, hey, you didn't break. Muscle top. Yeah. Oh. I hear the wind, though. Seriously, man, where is everything? Is it draft? Is it telling me there's something back somewhere? I don't. I literally don't know what I'm doing. It said there was a, a key hidden somewhere, and now it's like I don't. Even know know where I'm supposed to look. See, I knew there was a oh, hidden painting. Thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Just slammed against the wall. Come here, you. Picked up machine room key. Any other secrets? Any other secrets? Like a secret stash of lantern oil or tinder boxes or anything y'all can give me that can help. <laughs> I think you can tell I'm tired or something because I'm just smashing everything. Oh, hello. Anything? No. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Ding dong. Tick duck. Tickety tickety duck. Okay, back out to the back hall. 
Sir William Smith has been marked. There is no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Talk about me. Talk about Daniel. Good old Daniel here. Oh, look at that. A bloody carcass. Ooh, squishy. Is this the machine here? Did I accidentally go, like, the right order? So... Why is it suddenly lagging a little bit? Okay, the study! Let us go into the study. <laughs> Professor Taylor was a second death caused by his damned curiosity. By whose? Or is it by whom? By whom? I just don't think I understand the whole who, whom, and whose scenario that, you know? I see. Well, I hear a dog, at least. Peekaboo! Ah, uh, yes, tinderbox. If we can find a candle, I'll light one up in here. Ah, perfect. Hey, look, it's another Stefano. What's up, bud? Keep a watch. Jerry! You in here, Jerry? Jerry, buddy. Okay, we, we actually have six tinder boxes, so we're doing pretty good on those. Jerry! Are you in here? You can play Chopsticks. I know what's your favorite song. Look, there's something glass you can break. Oh, I broke it. Never mind. You in here? Jerry! Jerry! How did I get up here? I don't know. Do I want to... Yeah! <laughs> okay, we gotta go find out where that dog is. Oh, look, there's one right there. Okay. Hello? Knock, knock. Room service. Jeez, it ain't that dark, man. Maybe you're throwing a fit. Okay, maybe it is a little dark, I will admit. Oh. The letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Johan Ware, the most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Persian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is as inspicable as a hol holodrome described in his Hortus Conclu- Conclusus. It was as it was as it was told about, an underground Mithric temple, crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. I don't think that's an oxymoron. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called. Uh, Outstrecked, investigating one of the antiques trials when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these endemic artifacts. They were real. Ooh. Well, good for you. We're discovering that they were real. Hello. Boop. Sorry about that, folks. Just a little bit of an interruption. Ain't no need to worry. Take a boo. <laughs> so much for not being highly edited. See, that ain't fair, man. You lay this for me. I'm like, oh, you're being, they're being good to me. Giving me some nice oil. <gasps> Dog. Oh, there's blood. Any more notes? Oh, <laughs> Chambers of the Human Skull. Interesting. Well, at least it's a well-lit room. Let's see what <gasps> have to No!
like that. <gasps> a birdie. Oh. I'm sorry, boy. The canine jaw. Understanding balance. Milestones of human time. You guys are terrible! Animal experiments. Canis lupus familiars. 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it's clear that the agation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an indigenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the callus is produced by the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is. But I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genius. There's an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. You must refine the process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experience, experiments must be performed. But it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Come here. I got a pair of scissors. And I ain't afraid to use them. I'm a stab fool. And that sounds a little too loud for its own good. I do not like you, old man. I hope you're dead. Ah, uh, yes, autonomy. Okay, why? Don't bother me when I'm studying. Let's take the other ones outside. Autonomy. 1658, January 9th. Further disappointments, the Antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I should pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it would be in vain, since no research has been made in my particular interest. I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they prove less hassle to acquire. Ooh, I really not like don't like this guy. I can still hear the poor dog. I'm, and I'm searching for two. Son of a bitch! Don't do that game! God, man. Is there anything? God. Bad enough, I was already, like, expecting there to be nothing. You have to just freaking throw that at me. God damn, man. A slight, yeah, there better be a slight freaking headache after that. Give me some oil. <sighs> I hate you, game. Where are my scissors at? Where did I put those damn things at? I don't know. Freaking rabbit. I swear to God, that thing's... The canine spine. Come here, shovel. See, I wish we could fight back. Because, like, obviously I have a shovel. Obviously I can do some damage if I wanted to. Who's out there? <laughs> oh, drat. I can't even help the dogs. Put the shovel down. Hmm. Don't like you, Mr. Owl. How many licks does it take to get us into the Tootsie Pot? The world may never know. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing extra in here. God. Screw the study. He, pant he panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Hmm. Nuh uh. No way. Screw you, Mr. Steady. Screw you and your unnecess unnecessary jump scare. Which wasn't technically a jump scare, I guess. Which way am I supposed to go now? Because I believe... Yeah, we came from down there, I do believe. I think this was the door we needed to go into? If 
But I think... Or was it this door? Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. Herbert? No shame. Oh, yeah, that's... Parasol in the desert. That's the guy, right? Yeah. It happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. <laughs> the shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Am I just a kid? What the hell? I didn't that trigger before. I guess maybe I didn't know of Herbert being in the desert before. Yeah. <sighs> deep down, dark deep down. Because uh, this is the storage. Mm. The strange letter frightened him, but he was the only one which offered some comfort. Oh, that, that again, that's another oxymoron. Like, I, I don't think, I guess you can find comfort in the unknown. Ignorance is bliss and all that. And I wish I was ignorant enough not to play this game. Yeah, I'm gonna need my lantern. Darkness and storage feels strange and unnatural. <laughs> you got that right, buddy. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, that's just a box. Okay, well, there's a Tinder. Tinder box, at least. Nobody, nope, nope, no. I am not liking this. Instrumental. Uh, this way. Guess we're going down this way. Please, let me go. I won't tell anyone, I swear. I just want to go home. I. <gasps> Girl, so do I. No! Girl, I wish I knew what was going on so I could leave you alone. Madam? Are you okay? Mademoiselle? Don't budge. Oh, sh. The rubble from the cave in is turning for the passage storage. Find a way to get through. I mean, we got to find another hole somewhere. Probably have to go through the instrumental way. There was another door to this side, though. <laughs> oh, this game just loves to torture me. Give me the tinder boxes. Picked up a drill. <gasps> You at bud? Oh, and this is gonna be terrifying. Cause I'm not gonna know where he's coming from. Again, I didn't mean to progress the game. It's the exact opposite of what I had wanted. Hello? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Are you okay, madam? Let me let me light up a torch. At the very least. Hello? I feel like if I go in here, something else is gonna trigger, though. 
hammer, tinder box. Something's pl plopping around and I do not like it one bit. Yes, oil! I'll find you soon, madam. I'll make it my duty to find you. Oil? Please? The valve is rusted shut. Of course it has. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end off today's episode here. <laughs> I guess we're in the storage now. <sighs> if you're in here, I'm Ice Richard. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. You guys are another whole dealio. And as always, stay kind, be awesome. Tip which is a heck of a lot. And we'll see all of y'all next time. Peace out.